Guys, check this out. We're at the bottom of Dean's Gate outside the Spanish Cultural Center. There's the uh, very patriotic march. I just want to show you guys the police drone. They're going to megaphone the drone. That's keeping an eye out on all the different streets that come alongside and see if there's any erratic drivers wanting to intimidate and be bad. But look how peaceful and lovely it is. All right, welcome back to Manchester at nighttime. There's some people watching from the windows. Hello. So I've spoken to an eyewitness on the scene. There were some people fighting and arguing. And then the police chased one of them up into north central Manchester apartments over there. But it's a hell of a response for two people scrapping. But uh, they've apparently taken the battering ram into, according to the eyewitness, you know, the big red door knocker with the handles on it, the big metal door knocker. And they want to get to the guy and uh, relieve him of his liberty for something. Wah, they're using that metallic, like, uh, the, um, what's it called? Magnet. Magnet door lock. Got no chance. All right, we've got Abu, Abu one, and f, f my, f my <laughs> one. These are Manchester City Council uh, Volvos and Jags, and they're all watched over. In fact, am I in reverse? No, I'm just close to that other car. Um, there's two police watching them. I'm gonna try and investigate. Hey, Charlie, it's the return of the Zoom. Yes, it is, return of the Zoom. We're back on the phone because the 20 to 60 mil kit lens is fucked, tucked, the fucked. So we're outside the Crown Court. You've been caught. This is very similar to the vehicle that pulled me over for the first time ever for speeding on the M58. Something about these little LED light strips that I just feel are gonna go bright blue. And, uh, but anyway, as I said earlier, there's something happening in the court. And uh, everyone's parked on the double yellows, although this one's allowed to, he's got his disabled badge. But what's funny about this police car, oh no, that looks like a slightly different one. He doesn't have a giant police follow me. Have I scared him off? No, he's all right. Yeah. I had a chat with him off camera. Um, he wouldn't tell me why he's here though. There's something happening here. There's a lot of disabled people parking outside the court. There's the two police officers milling, milling around milling around. Let's see if we can find them. And we come around to this slightly more modern one and of course the plant pots to prevent the car rammings of peace. Viewers are teasing me for not knowing what a forklift is. I uh, filmed two vehicles which they deny were forklift trucks. Is this a forklift? My pattern recognition brain, there's one there. All over town I suddenly see, how do I put this sensitively? Ladies of a higher calorie disposition, all wearing this giant poncho, this big camouflage urban warfare poncho by a company called Dry Robe with a thick pink velour lining. It makes me wonder, like, do we live in a simulation or the Matrix, or is things repeating like a kaleidoscope? Because it's the same type of high calorie woman wearing the same type of camouflage poncho and I think they think they look good they look like uh, they look like hidden Mexicans city tower anyway hello Pidge how are you Pidge anyway look what they've done to my boy Piccadilly Gardens just look at it barren wasteland well, there's some competition here, social media. There's The Mank. These two ladies are from The Mank social media platform, and he's going to give them an interview. Go on. Go on, young man. So, what is your favourite type of potato? And why? Hello, mate. You okay? Yeah, filming the interviews here. Hello. Hello, hello. How are you doing? Say hello, everyone. Hello. Well, I'm trying to figure out. Yeah, yeah, you are. You are because yeah, I'm recording. The last one when you were speaking to the girl yeah. down there. Just wondering what the mank are interviewing the people for. Like, yeah. hello. Can I ask you a question, of course you can. I'm honoured. I'm not worthy. I'm not worthy. Go on. Right. So, one TV series you could rewatch. Yeah. Which one are you going for? A hundred percent, The Sopranos. Yeah. Yes. What's it about? I've never watched it. Um, it's 
It's considered the greatest television series ever made. It stars James Gandolfini playing Tony Soprano. It's an HBO production. And I, I don't know if I can continue speaking to you if you don't know The Sopranos. Oh, okay. Guys, come on. No, no, they're, 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 they're good people. They're fans. They're yeah, fans. I know, yeah. but we're just we're trying to get one as well. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. That, oh mate, appreciate it. Oh, thanks guys. I'm a YouTube, Charlie Veach. I do YouTube. Uh, it's, uh, yeah. I've been on your YouTube. Yeah, of course you can. Yeah, yeah. I nearly knocked over your coffee member. Oh my, I forgive you, man. I forgive. My guy. Hi, mom. Hey. Hello. Oh, sorry, man. Sorry, sorry. Anyway, I forgive you. You're probably quite young for The Sopranos. Yeah. Can I tickle your beard? Tickle my beard. No, I have a girlfriend. She's Sorry. No. She's on to you. Don't yeah, you nice one, mate. Cheers, guys. Bye-bye. Oh, I love it and I hate it at the same time. Who says punk is dead? In fact, he killed it. He's carrying the three heads, the three corpses. So uh, up this escalator here, I got uh, jumped by a group of... Uh, Rather big teenagers. Anyway, it's got this from uh, GMP, GMP, GMP police. I'm gonna do a quick flash. I don't want you to get too much. GMP. Hi, Charlie. Just wanted to give you a brief update regarding your case. Apologies if you've already had one. One of the offenders, so just to give you the context, there were seven of them identified as uh, breaking the law, breaking the law, attacking yours truly, your humble narrator. Five of them got caught quite quickly, identified and brought in for the last two. One of the offenders was arrested and interviewed on January the 14th. He don't, did not answer any questions, no comment. And put to him has been given bail. Of course he's been given bail. You don't get held on remand for challenging top YouTuber. The other one, the other was circulated as wanted, so they um, around every police station, he went out as wanted. And he has also come into contact with police, he's handed himself in. Um, but we're unable to interview him today. His parents' details have been obtained, and I will arrange an interview with his dad over the next few weeks. If you've got any questions, please blah blah blah, kind regard. Kind regards? Kind regards. Georgia, thank you. Okay, who's up for it? Who wants it? Who wants it? It's, of course, it is an offense for any persons to engage in public acts of lewd, obscene, or yes. Please don't demonetize me, YouTube. Anyway, I usually, boys, don't come down Cottager's Cove without at least one more big man. So then it's a bit more you know, romantic. But uh, there's quite a gaggle today, boys. It's uh, looking pretty filthy down there, if I'm honest. Oh, it's busy today. Wow, look at all these guys hanging out. Hello, mate, how are you? No, not my friends anymore? Oh, they don't want to hang out with Charlie? Anyone for a cottage? These two guys up ahead, they're suspected cottagers. They were down there. Terrible behavior. Hoot, hoot, it's the sound of the police. Here they go. Oh! Go get the crackies or the cottagers. And there's one more. Come on, Toyota. 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 Woo! Well, something's happened. There's a very fetching, a big, powerful German car, the red asterisk, which designates it as armed police with the rifles and the pistols. There's something up ahead. We'll pause for a second. We'll get a bit closer. In fact, why pause? We'll do it live. 
and apologies for some of the camera quality as well that might be a bit sharper all the tech is falling apart yep big police thing here just to give you context behind me behind me is Piccadilly Gardens this is the Oldham Street for the northern quarter northern quarter is the hipster hippie punk alternative goth alternative center we might find out what's going on over here hey guys you're right have I missed it already hi good to see you again have I missed it oh always the way no worries we'll see if there's anything around the back See what happened, guys. I was there chasing cottagers and I missed the drama. Oh, wait, there's a gentleman in the back. Let's see, can we see him? I can see the side of his head. Anyway, anyway, one in custody, and I've missed it all, as always. Well, many officers, two vehicles, something to do with the shop. Anything to do with the shop? Yep, there's a bit of a smashy smashy on the floor over there. Oh, hi, madam, don't mind me, don't mind me. Thank you, have I got the police seal of approval? Hey. Sorry about your shop, I see there's a bit of a... Smashy smashy in your shop there. Is it the, the, the gentleman in the back of the police van? Did he smash up some stuff in your shop? No, no, he, he was uh, resisting arrest. Resisting arrest. Do you know why they wanted to arrest him? I, I don't know because they came in and basically they wanted to search him. Oh, I see. They him out yeah. And then he tried to run. I and see. Then back in here and that's what happened. Oh my god. Well, they must have seen them on the cameras. <laughs> Oh no, we, we discussed it before, yeah, yeah. Don't worry, I, I'm not, I'm a gentleman, my good man, don't oh, worry. I know, I know that's yeah. people, don't yeah, worry. Yeah, 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 I never secretly record people, it's always obvious, yeah. obvious. Because no one wants to be secretly recorded. No. It's rude. No, it is, isn't it? Nice one. Anyway, how are you anyway? Did you see any of what happened no, here? I no, I you're, you're like me, you arrived just after it all happened. Yeah, I, I'm always the same. <laughs> nice one, mate, all the best. See ya. So what's the Charlie Veach analysis then? There's cameras all around Manchester. You know, people think they can come to the city. They may be a narcotics enthusiast. They may be a, a stimulant wholesaler, or they might do retail and they think they can reach into their pockets, maybe even flash the top of a, a bladed article. And of course, Big Brother sees it. There's, that's a whole new video, whether we should all be watched all the time. But in this case, they wanted to search him. He clearly knew he was F-U-C-K-E-D, tried to run, ran back into the shop, got himself detained if you choose to have a personalized license plate I will judge you well I thought I was getting pulled over again but this one instead of follow me it's don't pass Oh, thanks, Audi. I'd uh, moved into this lane for a clear shot. My passenger is filming. Obviously, I would not film this. All right, we're on the grid. Um, someone's got pull position up there. It's not me. Here we go. Wait, wait, what are we doing? We're doing set eight miles an hour. Wait, 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 wait. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Okay, we're back to... where. We, where yeah, here we go. Hold. Hold. Okay. Okay, I just want to welcome you all to the M6 going north. I've uh, come out for some better views and uh, just going to start a new life here. We're going to be here. It's been 10 minutes. Anyway, remember when you used to drive in this country before lockdown and there wouldn't be crashes or you'd see rare crashes? Now, every time you drive, 
crashes, bumper car, boom, 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 boom. I just want to thank the National Highways Agency for forcing me to contemplate my life, my existence, my childhood, all my mistakes, every single situation that has caused me anxiety and uh, where I have failed. Any longer, uh, I'm going to need therapy.